Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. Gold have been moving interestingly. We are going to look at it gold extensively and see what trading opportunities and there are actually really excellent trading opportunity that gold is providing. Not only gold but silver, euro, British pound, Canadian dollar. All of these are providing very excellent trading opportunities. We are expecting long swings and I'm going to actually forecast them here where you are going to analyze the market what had happened last week and we are going to forecast what is going to happen analyze would be a better word I guess so first of all on a 15 minute chart let's see what's hap been happening last few days have been range bound for gold and uh, in my previous analysis posted about 24 hours ago I clearly mentioned that I'm seeing a pattern right over here a flat correction a complex move wave right over here and I was expecting a five wave structure all the way up over here. This was the last chance the bulls have bulls had it in within the correction because already a, a lot of accumulation had happened. It then confirms this signal right from over here this price movement confirms that it was not actual accumulation accumulation of it was actually distribution that was happening. And the distribution of the funds is gonna be completed as soon as this this wave C is complete. So from this C, you are expecting the, on a 15, jar, 15 minute chart, you are expecting a 5 wave structure. It is about to happen. I was expecting an impulsive wave, rather it's going to be an ending diagonal. And the ending diagonal I'm seeing it here is, in, is called expanding ending diagonal. So I'm considering this whole price movement to be finishing on probably Monday morning. All right. This is what I'm expecting that we are going to see. So I consider this thing as wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and then wave 5. This will complete. I have drawn the trend line starting from the combining these tops giving an indication that there is a good possibility that this price will actually stick to this area. Giving, giving it a confirmation. The other possibility is that we have another resistance that comes in online. This is this top and this top and combined there is a possibility that we might see truncation for this wave meaning it won't create a new high. So both possibilities exist. I'm going to delete, delete these so we can actually look further down. Now, on, starting from this bottom, people who are interested in Elliott wave analysis, this is called um, a double degree flat correction. So this is a single flat correction itself. It's a complex wave B and a five wave structure. And this makes it a flat correction of a larger of two degrees. So that's what I'm expecting and I'm expecting what our prices are going to see go above up. When prices are going up, it will be very, very interesting opportunity. And I'm thinking that let's take a top right over here. I'm thinking that the prices won't be able to go above 1797 and then make a turn back and then continue the, uh, the previous trend, which is bearish. So I'm going to be bullish for just $10. So I won't say I'm bullish. I would say just prices are going to go up give us a good nice joining point and then prices are going to turn bearish. So I'm clearly bearish for next week is going to be very interesting. As prices, we can see the prices have stormed through this price behavior. I'm clearly seeing a similar pattern that prices are going to go storm through after this correction is complete because there's no depth in the correction. A lot of time has been spent and we can see from the Elliott wave analysis that this is actually not a accumulation pattern which I thought it was but actually it's a distribution pattern because the wave last wave last of the last wave is going to end soon so we have a confirmation and it is telling us that it's actually a distribution pattern once a distribution pattern it means we have spent about five six days of distribution of funds and we are going to see a lot of price quick price movement in gold so I want to give a price target as well initially I gave a target that we are going to go for 1442 I am thinking that that target is a little too stretched. I did some more calculations and I'm coming up with the right over here is somewhere around 1550 I think. So 1555 you can say this is the initial target for our prices. Next week I'm expecting that we will see actually prices falling from 1780 to around 1550. That's still a lot of about 200 and uh, $30, $230 or $25 price movement that I'm expecting in uh, drop in about next 10 to 15 trading days. So that will take us about three weeks. So that's what I'm expecting and we'll see what happens after that. We'll discuss that. Let's have a look at 
at silver now if any one of you is interested in GAN I drew these uh, angles back about I think three four videos ago and you guys can go one of those videos and see how I drew them but the interesting point is that those angles which were drawn actually uh, three four weeks ago all those angles are coming in action and the reason is if you look at this price behavior very interesting we drew these angles before we can see the sharp line drop right over here and we can see that the distribution fi is finding support on one of the angles it's very very interesting not only that we are also finding that the drop actually occurred at the 25 percent so this is also coming together giving us not only the the target the resistance but also confirming that our angles were correct and this is uh, after this retest probably just on a 15 minute chart let's see what's happening so I'm expecting that since gold is gonna go up so probably we are gonna see one more price wing down up and after that we are going to go downward uh, let's go back to the daily and let's make it increase and of course the next target for silver would be the next percentage which is right around twenty three dollars so I'm expecting that if gold is gonna fall strongly then we have a point for silver too it means that silver is a good possibility for silver to come all the way down right over here and touch twenty dollar and seventy cents so this is the next target for silver that silver is going to be uh, falling strongly as well and then probably we are going to see uh, twenty dollar and seventy cent and then we'll discuss what happens after that it's going to be stronger price movement in silver as well let's have a look at euro and uh, let's see if, if we can find a pattern all right I I told you guys that I was going to inform you about the larger swing and I've drawn this swing before I'm expecting that we are going to continue the uh, fall of that swing and I'm seeing some sort of pattern like this I'm seeing a deeper price price action for for euro it's gonna take a lot of time for euro to do that and I'm seeing a similar pattern in US dollar I do not happen to have the US dollar chart in front of me I've analyzed it and I'm seeing instead of coming downward US dollar is going to make a deeper move down upward and finding a support in in near previous high here euro is going to be for probably finding us going to be finding the support previous near previous low on a four minute four hourly chart so if you want to if you want to is right now if you want to trade Joro wait for Monday morning and then of course put your targets uh, let's see if we can find a better stop loss the trouble is with all these strong swings is that prices get away very quickly so I would recommend to decrease the position size so you can actually put the stop loss right at the top this is the recommendation I do not have any other recommendation right now because I do not see any any valid entry any valid stop loss point so decrease your position size let it run and keep your stop loss right over here this will be very interesting trade for euro as well British pound once again I am finding that we are going to see a deeper price movement in British pound as well so I'm expecting that we will see this and then British pound if you are interested in the trade long term trade please put your stop loss right at the top right over here all right because you might see an upswing and you don't want to be get stopped out of a very nice trade there is a lot of strength that's coming in US economy which will be actually converted to US dollar and then we'll see all these US ba US dollar basket currencies going in a bearish way if some of you guys are interested in in uh, uh in trading cryptocurrencies and this is I, I drew something back let me see what happened so i drew this trend line interestingly prices came below it and then went above and retested it so this is going to be very interesting for for uh, xrp this is triple I do believe that there is still strength in the in commodities I'm not trading them my own self but a larger scale when does the prices actually start going up I'm not sure but I guess it's a very good entry point for prices to go all the way up uh, for Bitcoin I'm not sure because Bitcoin has broken very important support levels if it does not get quickly above those support levels then Bitcoin has a bit more price value to go down let's have a look what else do we have here 
so US Canadian dollar I think I had Canadian dollar right over here as well so if you happen to let me see it's gonna be ugly chart let me give me a moment let's convert it quickly to weekly chart and then see what's happening the thing I wanted to point out let me convert it to white chart It's looking very dirty right now templates and then white okay so it looks a bit better now so we are right now historic support areas and these are very important areas so if you're interested in Canadian dollar put your stop loss right behind this level and it's a very easy trade we're expecting the prices to go all the way deep it's a similar pattern that we are seeing in Canadian dollar euro is also showing the same pattern British pound is showing the same pattern and not and US dollar itself is showing the same pattern so it's very interesting to look at that gold is not showing that same pattern and silver is not showing that pattern so it's very interesting to look on all these if you like my content please thumbs up press thumbs up <coughs> and if you're interested in the content go ahead and comment thank you so much have a good one and bye bye